what is up my rogues i would love to thank you all for joining me for another episode of mortal realms monday magazine with you today we are looking at issue 10 and with this issue we get a new miniature a tomb banshee i don't know if we can see her there again she is a multi-part model and but she is not a push fit so this will will require glue she does come with a one inch molded square base but as uh, Warhammer no longer uses this base this is an, an old, older model just before they uh, switch to the, the quarter, one and quarter inch bases that they now come on the round bases it is entirely up to you which base you would like to use uh, personally for this this model I'm going to be using the round base uh, with some some modeled elements to it just to you know spice it up a little bit the small base I'm using for uh, another project so that's her and we also get a pot of corn red uh, base paint uh, which obviously primarily primarily for her hair and uh, I do believe some of the uh, the storm cast will be using this to paint them up as well so in this episode we get some information on the tomb banshee as well as the miniature painting with corn red and some more new rules so let's have a look night haunt tomb banshees tomb banshees are bitter vengeful spirits who were tormented and betrayed in life they find no relief in death and are cursed to shriek their wailing cries as they haunt the mortal realms though they are solitary nagash often commands them to fight with night within his night haunt armies so obviously we've got a bit of a bit of information on on them there uh, then we've got some on banshee hosts so obviously they're showing her leading the the mymorn banshees here um we've got some what we've got here stormcast eternals forging a forging of a stormcast eternal the Stormcast Eternals are perhaps Sigmar's greatest achievement. Each of them is created from the soul of a brave hero of order, and they fight within the with the strength of a dozen men. Creating such mighty warriors requires some of the most complicated and powerful magic in existence. As well as uh, Sigmarite, the metal that makes their armour. So, obviously we've got some, some background here. Uh, got some some heroes or some named heroes uh, we've got Danik Bloodwing Arnos Whitesteel Vanguard Wolfhide and Martyr's Soul Sword as well as a couple of or a new uh, storm host color here then we got the realms wake not the dead so obviously this is going to be on uh, the dead oh it, it's a battles uh, page so again some uh, background fluff on battle in uh, the realm of Shayish as well as some things on forgotten tombs and tomb banshees uh, then we've got the how to build a tomb banshee obviously it says here that you will not need this base again that is your choice if you want to use the smaller one um, I know that some people are modeling the smaller one into the larger one um, if you have a Dremel or something this was just an idea I came up with you could essentially cut a square out of this drop this into it glue it in and then just fill the gap because obviously this is slightly angled just fill the gap in with some putty that way you've got your square base inside your round base or you could stack it on top you could trim the edge of this down just uh, trim the the lip off and then put this flat down on here fill it with some uh, sand sterling mud anything like that around the edge and blend that in you know that's also a, a good option a little bit of customization for your base there gets it onto a round base with the uh, the molded base there but like I said I'm just going to be doing the round base as I've got this for a uh, another project that I'm doing uh, so obviously some assembly like I say there is glue uh, required with this um, as it isn't a push fit model uh, then we've got some paints on how to paint the tomb banshee so we've got your corax white your nylock oxide your cantor blue and your corn red 
So start with painting her white, then go straight over with the Nylock Oxide to give her that eerie sort of turquoisey green blue glow. Uh, then we use the Cantor Blue for the, the hoods of the chain rasps. The Corn Red, they are going with the, um, the corsets on the Briar Queen and the, the Banshees and also the corset and the headdress of the Tomb Banshee there. And there we go, the, uh, the finished models so far. Then we've got our Chill Blades and Hearts of Ice. Anastasia Starstrike and her secretors continue to pick their way through the ruins only to find their path blocked by a deadly tomb banshee and her flock of Maimon Banshee's followers. So for this you need the uh, the tomb banshee and the Maimon Banshees as well as three of her secretors. Um, one of them needs to be the secretor with a great mace according to this. Uh, dice and rulers and the first small map that we got with uh, issue one. So now we've got some uh, information on war scrolls here. Stormcast turn one. So we're learning the, the Great Mates Blast um, in this issue as indicated by the, the golden color here. And the frightful touch of the Tomb Banshee. So there's another rule there. So a couple of rules in this one that we're learning. And obviously you go backwards and forwards fighting the battle until you have a winner and then that brings us to the end of this issue so once again thank you all for joining me i hope you enjoy these videos if you do hit a thumbs up button if not let me know why in the comments you know i need to grow i need to find out what i'm doing right what i'm doing wrong and it is always nice to interact with you guys you know although youtube is primarily a one-way system you know the the comment section is there for you guys to be able to interact back with me um, i can respond in there and i can respond via via video so uh yeah thanks a lot for joining me hit that thumbs up button or the dislike button hit that subscribe button follow me join me support me it is always much appreciated and uh, check out those links in the description and i will see you guys next time thanks a lot